no Jedi. Your power is a weak old man. Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Hello there. General Kenobi. You don't know the power of the dark side. And welcome back to Disciples of the Force. It has been a drought without my good pal, Austin. I have mm -hmm. been struggling. Mm -hmm. Austin, I missed you. I missed you as well. Welcome back. I haven't said a word to him until right now in this moment. <laughs> I didn't even know you uh, still spoke English. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty well around. I'm yeah. a traveler now. Yeah. I didn't know you spoke uh, without an accent because I was just hearing you speak I've Austin. been in New York. <laughs> You're going to have to bleep that out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm keeping it in. Oh. Okay, just kidding. Um, welcome back. So, you know, I had all these things planned. I'm going to be honest with everyone. I, I have been trying to just get our TikTok to pop off. Mm -hmm. I had no idea there was this whole band, a new band coming up and it just passed the, passed the house of representatives. Yeah. So I had a couple of things I was going to say about that, but I'm going to shelve all that until we know that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Let's have a lesson on the legislative branch real quick. Is, is that me? Am I in trouble? I don't know. I, I'm, oh. I'm genuinely. Okay. We might need to cut this because it passed either the House or the Senate, and it still has to go to. So it has to pass House, has to pass Senate, then goes the then goes to the president. And they don't. So, and they're a little. They knew it was going to pass the House, but they don't think it's going. They they're kind of up. It's a throw up if it's going to pass the Senate. Yes, because um, let's see. Sorry, this is just for me. Um, but yeah, so Biden has already expressed support that he'll sign it if it comes across really? his desk. You would say so if it makes it through to him, so it's, it's going to be law. Okay, because I was wondering why. Because uh, Dylan Page, that's who I follow on TikTok. He, it's who gives me my news. Um, yeah. He was like, he's like, if it passes Senate, it's a done deal. I'm like, well, it's got to go to the president. But I didn't know he had already said that, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, and that really sucks for um, us, not you guys, just us. <laughs> yeah. Because we have about 3,600 followers on there. And, you know, a lot of you come from there, I would assume. And so I've been slacking on Instagram posting. I mean, we are dog water on that. Like maybe 160 people follow us on there. Oh, cool. I mean, it's not something. <laughs> it's not 3,000. It's not 3,600. We have gotten a, a jump of like 100 on TikTok over the past little bit. It was yeah. 3,500 last time I checked, and today it was 3,600. So. Yeah, so we're we're climbing, we're 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 making we're making it. Just if it gets canceled, that's not canceled, just banned. It's gonna really suck. Yeah. Hey, did you see any of the TikToks I sent you today? Did you see that Jinxy thing I sent you? Yeah, that's where he was like, awesome. "Never give up." Yeah, we're not gonna give up. We're not gonna give up because you know what? Here's the thing: we have YouTube. YouTube is a. I would, if you're not subscribing on YouTube, give us a subscription. Give us a subscription. Give us a follow. Give a what? Can you go ahead? I got subscribe. Notice. So, damn, that is what it is. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, get us to a thousand. Maybe we'll do our road to a thousand there. Yeah, that'd be good. Every hundred. I don't know. I got to rework. Basically, basically, my whole week has been shattered. Um, I've been listening to this book, and it's, it's it's been inspiring me to really, really try to just you know follow my dreams. Mm -hmm. Money. Money. <laughs> No, we are passionate about this podcast and we're passionate about Star Wars, but yeah. um, we put a lot of time into this. And oftentimes it doesn't seem like it when we can't remember a name or um, when we sound like freaking morons in these mics. Um, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but yeah, we do we, put a lot of work in and uh, yeah, we're just trying to trying to make it pay off. You know what I mean? And it, it already has. It has. So. It really has. And we've, I was actually, so I was scrubbing through our like YouTube videos that we've done. Mm -hmm. I was watching a couple of them and just like how, like it was so awkward at the beginning. Like, yeah, so that's what I think. You're like, yeah, that's cool. Um, so what I was thinking, <laughs> like, Jeez. it like wasn't like fluid at all. But that was also because most of it was remote. Yeah, remote sucked. Man, can you imagine our friendship if we hadn't uh, started this podcast? I probably would only see you once a month. I know. Not even like. Maybe not even that. Maybe if we played Warzone, I'd hear you once a month. Yeah. And that's why we did this to strengthen the friendship. I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to. Uh, real quick, this isn't even for you guys. This is for you. <laughs> okay. But you should listen to this too. That's my favorite, Pedro Pascal. You know what I'm quoting when I'm doing that? Yes, yes, I do. Where he like turns to the <laughs> yeah, camera. Yeah. You should listen. You should hear <laughs> yeah. this too. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Um. Anyway, they say you should go back. I don't. You guys don't care. You should go back to uh, the, your videos that did good. 
and figure out what it was and try to replicate that. So I might go back and check out our higher viewed videos mm. and see what people were liking about them. Okay. A couple, a couple of them were remote and I was like, well, how would this, why was this better? Yeah. So I'll look anyway. Um, so Star Wars news. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Do you have anything? I, I posted on our TikTok the Star Wars news. Yeah. Uh, two new episodes of the Bad Batch as of yesterday. Uh, the other stuff you posted was like a new trading card game. Mm-hmm. Um, some other things that I'm not keyed in on. So um, Jake Lloyd. Oh, that's right. Uh, when his mother passed away, he checked himself into rehab. He's had a hard go uh, yeah. with the Star Wars fandom attacking him, and it's kind of really damaged him. Super yeah. sad, you know, because you just want people to be happy. So it sucks for him. It does. For our listeners, Jake Lloyd is who played young Anakin Skywalker in Phantom Menace. Um, and yeah, he like got bullied out of show business, has dealt with drug abuse and mental health problems his whole life because of yeah. how horrible that experience was for him. So Yeah, and it's like they don't learn. Star Wars fans don't learn. You, you attack uh, Ahmed Best. Ahmed Best yeah. and then Rose. It's sad that I don't know her name. Uh, <laughs> but while you're thinking about that, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> you know, that's not cool. It's not. It's They're just doing a job. We've talked about it. A bajillion times, but it's just, they're just acting. Like, why you got to attack them? I, you should, honestly, honestly, you should be attacking George Lucas because he's the one who's directing him to do those things. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Kelly, Marie, Kelly Marie Tran yeah. is her name. Sorry. So, super sad. Um, and then the other thing I had was one of the Star Wars cast members died. I don't remember his name. He mm-hmm. was the, I'm pretty sure he was the Imperial employee who was choked by Vader in. Um, can't remember which film it was. Well, he's been dead for a while, then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Yeah, why did it take so long for them to get there? Maybe it's because it's l- far away. You know? Oh, that's true. Yeah, just got the transmission here. just yeah. got here. <laughs> okay. Hey, no disrespect. Rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, rest. <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> just a little bit we were doing. We yeah. hope you are well in your family, even though you aren't here. He's a good sport. <laughs> I knew him. Um, we do have a question that came in. Okay. Would you like to read it? Yeah. This question comes from Isaac from Maine. Thank you for listening, Isaac. Uh, He says, I'm new to Star Wars and just know the movies, but I feel like in a universe this big, there would be other Force-sensitive beings uh, than just the Jedi and the Sith. Are there any? Certainly. The Witches of Dathomir are Mm Force-sensitive. As well, there are the Guardians of the Wills. Guardians of the Wills. Um, Anybody else can you think of? Uh, The Bendu. Yeah, the, the Bendu. There is an arc in the Clone Wars. Oh, what are their names? Well, uh, while you're talking about that, before the Jedi, I think um, that's how s- hyperspace lanes were established were by force sensitive people that could navigate past obstructions and things like that. Right. Before, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting my Dune mythology mixed up because <laughs> they're the same thing. Before computers and droids were developed, mm. I think. <laughs> hyperdrives, <laughs> hyperdrives. Holy cow. I don't know. I don't know. What you're, referring. but definitely force sensitive people establish the hyperspace lanes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yes, they, they, yeah, there's more than just the Sith and the Jedi. And that's, we're basically only getting a sliver of the whole world of star Wars. Um, Oh, and the other was the, uh, f- the Dagoian masters. Mm. What, and, one important thing to understand though, is the snapshot that we do have of Star Wars is when the Jedi were at their strongest, well, n- near the end of their reign, but during their thousand years of peace in the in the Republic. And every single Force-sensitive child that was discovered was gone, was kidnapped and recruited by the Jedi. So, like, yes, there are Force-sensitive people all around the galaxy. It just so happens that so many of them are Jedi because they all got selectively picked up right. as soon as they were discovered to be Force-sensitive. So... Yeah. So thank you, Isaac, for the question. Great question. If thank you, you ever have questions, just send them our way, TikTok, you can comment on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We'll answer. Um, with you saying that, I've had this idea for a movie, a Star Wars film, if you would. May, may sure. I tell you? Please. Oh, thank you. Don't uh, steal it, listeners. Yeah, don't steal it. Come on, please. That's all I have. <laughs> I don't know what time this would be, but I'm thinking it'd be really cool if they send this uh, – this girl is a Jedi, right? Mm-hmm. They send her out on a mission. A yeah. girl? Yeah. In Star Wars? That's what I'm saying. You're kidding me? That's what I'm doing. They say, hey, you got to go on this mission to go find this. My original thought would be like rumors of Darth Maul in the beginning, way okay. before anything, like the rumors that there might be a Sith. Um, but you'd have to clean up that timeline because the Jedi canceled it and find that tell 
Phantom Menace. But anyway. Right. My idea is she gets sent off to go, and they go, we don't have enough Jedi. All the other Jedi are caught up. You need to go work with a former Jedi. Okay. He's left the Order, but we still have good relations with him, right? And she meets up with this guy who's a Je- who left the Order. Um, and he – I'm thinking about it kind of like leaving like the church kind of a thing cool. with me. I love that. So he goes, and she's talking to him like, oh, why did you leave? And he's like, oh, I didn't like all these things. And one of the things that would be would be like how they just take kids from their families. Yeah. And he like – and he, the whole story would be that – He's got a wife and kids that he loves. And like, mm-hmm. I could not imagine just letting my kid go. I can't believe my dad did that to me or, or my parents just let that happen. Yeah. Because that really is just a dark thing. Because when I read yeah, the Count Dooku overlooks. book, I was like, damn, he's just away from his family. Like, yeah. And anyway. So sprinkle that and just kind of sprinkle in basically the, the problems of the council. Okay. What exists. And then him talk about how he found love and that he was like, well, it was either my love or the Jedi. And he's like, and I... I just, at this point, I, I, I kind of was done. Right. And so he left. And then he had his family. And he still helps him. And he, and he can do... <laughs> he can do... Hopefully uh, the mics didn't pick that up. <laughs> I'm going to mark that. <laughs> Sorry. He can do... Uh, kind of be between both dark and... Uh, be kind of doing Sith moves. You know, that would be... Oh, you can't do that as a Jedi. Yes. You can do it. I don't know. I think it would be cool. And then my whole plot, plot twist, he dies in the very end. Okay. I'd make it a trilogy. He dies in the end. Okay. And um, as he's dying, it's like the, something's, the building's crashing and he's like, you got to go give this to my daughter. He's got a kid. And he's like, it's like a little voice message for her. And he's like, but you basically, I, I think it'd be dark and it'd be cool if she had to like kill him. So he was out. He's like, I'm in so much pain. Please take me out of my misery. Okay. Dark. Anyway. And then it would go to the daughter. She'd give her the message. She'd say, okay. And the second movie would be those two girls together. Okay. Going out and fighting. Okay. So kind of like an Ahsoka, uh, Sabine kind okay. of vibe. I like that a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think there is already like a, you know, the, in the Vader comics, mm-hmm. the guy that Vader has to kill to get his kyber crystal. Yeah. That guy is like a Jedi who's like left the order and kind of lives in a life like between mm. uh, Kyrick and Fala. Might be why I thought of it. Might be um, my subconscious. Anyway, but I've always been interested in that. So yeah. I think like a more fleshed out character like that would be really yeah. cool. It never happened. Disney's going to just do Mandalorian season seven. Yeah. I can't <laughs> wait for that. <laughs> um, oh, trying to connect. Right, uh, this did this two nights ago. It should should be fine okay um anyway that's what i have for that <laughs> okay uh you want to jump, jump in the episode or we got anything else you want to talk about yeah i uh here's what i thought about the episode yeah 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 dude. <laughs> going back to our roots yeah uh no yeah you want to jump into the episode <laughs> yeah episodes um, make, we should sh- say. make sure i didn't have any questions here no i'm saving all this first so next week just a little teaser for you tomorrow i'm gonna go watch dune I'm going to say the best movie that's ever been made. I don't know. I've never seen it. That's what I've been told. Um, I watched Dune, first Dune, and because of my viewing experience, I, I rated it very low, three to five on Letterboxd. Um, I've, sent, I've since repented of that. Good. Uh, give it a four and a half. It is fantastic, amazing. Mm-hmm. Love it. I still don't know what it is. I'm not I'm not 100% in with Zendaya. And I don't know why. I, I, sh- I want to love her. I want to. That's I'm okay. Just, I'm just not there yet. Jaren hates her. And he, yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to. And in this movie, you won't have to be in love with her either. Okay. Okay. Um, and, but I have some things I want to say about that. So I'll say that for next week. We're going to have a guest, guest on, Forrest Inskeep. You may know him. Um, <laughs> dude, gonna, we are gassy. I know. I'm all, I'm all gassed up over here, dude. Uh, anyway, yeah. We'll talk about it then. I don't have anything else. Let's jump into the episode. Okay. Perfect. Um, First episode that dropped, Infiltration is what it's called hot name um uh, here's my first note every weekly release show like this needs a recap i know because i honestly already forgot what had happened i know i i can't tell you what the situation was last week I, well actually i i can now well, now, now i can now when that it I started it. i had no idea yeah when it started i was like what where the hell are we what are we doing yeah also i like it when they do the recap because sometimes they'll pickle in pickle in what that's not pickle in. <laughs> sprinkle in <laughs> yes. things that were neat like for example they would have put in shots of the clone wars with uh Senator Ryo. Is that how you pronounce Rio? Pronounce her name. Uh, Chuchi. 
Chuchi. Senator Chuchi. I don't know her first name, her but first it's probably right. Her first name R-I- is R-A-Y-O. I can't Yeah, okay. It. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, they would have peppered that in so I could remember. Because I was like, the whole time, like, why do I remember her? Why do I remember yes. her? Yes. Which, okay. So I do like that because, you know, we're fans of the Clone Wars and we get to see that pay off. Mm-hmm. Because the first time we ever saw that character was on her home planet of Pantora. You remember this? This is one of my favorite episodes of the Clone Wars. It's all snowy and stuff. Yeah. And the 501st is there. Rex is there. Mm -hmm. And he's in like this cool snow garb. It's so sick. One of my favorite Clone Wars episodes. Anyway. um, Oh, I have two thoughts going at once. Uh I thought it was cool um, that I have three thoughts going at once. Uh Let me work through one. (laughs) I thought it was cool that um, Rex is still working with Senator Chuchi. Yeah. After what how however long it's been years four five years now um actually we do we know how long it's been since the clone wars because there's a time jump right uh no we it's because it, remember we start right at the end of order 66 yes but between these different seasons, seasons oh, of the bad batch do we know exactly how much time is there is yeah all we know is yeah, i don't think we know the exact time either way he's been with her all this long and it's mm-hmm. cool that he's being like her personal security detail and it's cool to see what he's doing to bring about the rebellion because in that discussion, I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry, but it's cool that they that we get to see what he's doing mm-hmm. because before it was like he's doing missions. Yeah, that's all we knew. But who's he really doing them for? Because the rebellion is not established yet. Right. So it's cool that he's like connecting senators. Yeah. Or facilitating the connection of them. Which, My other thought, real well, quick, Mothman. was um, I'm trying to remember G- George Lucas and his daughter have a cameo as Pantorans in Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And they might be those two Pantorans, Senator Chuchi and her father. Oh. But that could be completely wrong. It could be generalizing Pantorans. I didn't even I'm know sorry. they did a cameo. I'll send you the picture. It's really funny. <laughs> Just like him and his daughter all painted <laughs> blue. Um, but yeah, okay. Going back, they all need a recap. Yeah. Yada, absolutely. yada. Um, so, yeah. Cause, well, I agree. Because in the beginning, I was like, was she in the, like I knew I I thought she was in Rebels for oh okay. did, she, did she show up in Rebels at all I don't think so I think she was only with Clone Wars but yeah I would love recaps for episodes yeah um, so and then when they talk about the planet Thorix how oh, do you remember Raxus the mm, one that they're on no it was a different one. The oh other, the other senator talks about it but we had seen it before in the Clone Wars and I was gonna ask you what happened because when the second he said the name I was like oh yeah. What did, I forgot about that plan. But now I don't even remember the name of it, so. Shoot. So Raxis. Well, they're on Raxis. Senator Singh is the governor of Raxis, and we saw that last season. Or they might not be on Raxis, but that's where we saw. Dude, I might have just written it down wrong and misheard. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I do know Senator Singh represents Raxis. Right. Maybe maybe he did say that. And I thought he said that. Okay. Anyway. Maybe I, I don't know. Anyway, we can just skip that. It wasn't important. Okay. Um, I love seeing the clones in their old armor. Yeah, so sick, so dude. Cool. Speaking of sick, uh, freaking Rex with that cloak. Yeah, so cool. Sexy. And um, okay, I do want to go back to that conversation real quick. Sorry. Go back. The Senator Singh or mm-hmm. Governor Singh. I'm not sure what his position is right now. He must be a governor because the separatist Senate is no more. And I don't think he's a senator in the empire. Yeah, he'd have to be a governor because yeah. during that rule, they're all governors. So he's a governor, Governor Singh. Sorry. Um, he talks about how there are no unifying leaders for a rebellion when they're talking about this. Mm-hmm. Senator Chuchi's like, yeah, we still have to go on with it. And he's like, there's nothing we can do. Like, who who would we even contact? Who would, like, unify all of this? Um, so I thought that was pretty cool yeah. because we, we see how that all comes together. Right. And we know that during this time... Is it during this time? No, because Mon Mothma is still kind of getting off her feet. Um, yeah, the the rebel cells haven't come together yet at this no, time. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. It's Sagarera would be the only one, really. Yeah, he'd still be going. Yeah, it, it would be just small little cells. Going. Yeah, Luthen's not... operating at this time. Yeah, you know, but nothing, nothing to the big rebellion. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Rex looking badass. Yeah, and being badass mm. when the what they call shadows or like the. Yeah. I thought that was cool that they called him Shadows. I love the name Shadows. When he, he like <laughs> throws a thermal detonator in to the meeting and Rex runs at it and like throws it back. So Gosh, sick. just so cool. And he's in his cloak. Then 
that gate explodes and he just hops through and it's like backlit in the smoke mm -hmm. and you just see him in his cloak mm -hmm. like looking around oh it's so cool rex is the best yeah he's awesome yeah okay um i have here and i don't know why i said what happened on ryloth and is that what we were just talking about no, no. she's from ryloth yeah wait sorry no who's, who's from ryloth Ryloth is where the um, Twi'leks live. That's okay. That's where Hera's so Hera from. Okay. Uh, is from Ryloth. Because they mentioned it in the episode. I don't remember the context of it, though. There was an episode last season where uh, Omega, well, where we see Hera's dad in his struggle against the Empire on Ryloth. Mm -hmm. And the Bad Batch are involved there. I can't remember what happened exactly. I haven't been rewatching season two, but I remember how it's her. Or Hauser, mm. Captain Hauser was a big part of that. Okay, um, and so that's why he's like so mistrusting of Crosshair because he saw him that's in right. action for the Empire. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, and that's exactly what my question was: what what the beef was? And yeah, was. that was the beef, and so that's what turned Hauser away. Was like that's when he had his come to you know uh -huh. uh, come to his senses moment where he was like the Empire is not. I'm not being a good soldier by following these orders, you know. And yeah. so he turned away from that, joined Rex. But that's when he – Crosshair is the one that made Hauser turn away turn from away. the Empire and because he saw, like, what he was doing, you know? Right. Okay. That makes sense. And real quick, this right here, that what you just saw is why the podcast exists. This is – I just shoot Austin messages like that. Like, sure. what happened to this? And he'd answer with it. As Thank you. Does, so. I, I'm not as well-versed as I used to be. Hey. Honestly, as we've done this podcast, I've learned less about Star Wars. <laughs> like, I've just <laughs> taken my foot off the gas, I think. I mean, it, dude, it's a lot. Like, I was sitting there the other day – when I was watching a screen crush video and he was naming the ship and I was like, I don't think if I tried, I could remember that. Yeah. Like such a, I'm like just such a, it was like a long name, so many letters and numbers. And it was only in one split second of a scene in uh -huh. a movie. People are dedicated, man. I know. They and I it. guess maybe we shouldn't have a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> people who are dedicated. <laughs> I, know was, that shit. I was thinking about one of the growth ideas. I was like, why don't we go live on TikTok and say like, ask us star Wars questions. <laughs> and then we'd be like, Hmm, I don't know about that. One. It would be, it would be, why is it when? Oh yeah, oh now the question. Like, <laughs> we just stop halfway through knowing that I have no idea what the answer is. Yeah, but we are gonna go live. Well, TikTok still exists. Yeah, we'll we're see. gonna be playing. Uh, I almost said Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. Uh, Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefront, Battlefront. They texted about Battlefield. We're playing Battlefront. I did not see that. Maybe you didn't see that text message. They just texted in our group chat about oh, Battlefield. Just... Oh, yeah, I think that... Jaren said he wanted to play it or something. No, he didn't. No, fucking, no he... freaking way. I almost just swore again. Oh, my gosh. We should all get Battlefront and play that. Oh, he said Battlefront, and Forrest said, I bought Battlefield. So I think they're just talking about two different things. Those are two different games. I'll, I'll text them that. <laughs> Those are it's funny that we're talking about that right now. <laughs> That's why friendships are so good. Even in a different time and space, we're talking about the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> um... <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, what's what's uh, what's the next on your list? You keep going. I okay, next on my list. I so I have that they call them shadows. Mm -hmm. Cool. And one of the shadows, when he gets activated, he asks the imperial guy that he's or what are who's he talking? To? And the shadow is talking to the clone commando. He's like, when am, why have I been activated? Mm -hmm. Which made me think, like, are they dormant? Like, are they kept in like a cryogenic sleep That's or something? What I'm wondering because th doesn't he ask what happened to the other one too? Yeah, like Which they have no idea what's going on. So maybe they like activate one at a one at a time. Yeah, I don't know. that's what I'm thinking because it was weird that like I don't know. Yeah, weird. but cool. Cool. Very I cool. hope to learn more about those guys. I like it. Sleeper little agents. Yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, what else? Do you have anything else on that? Um, this episode, the last thing I have was uh, Omega's cross bullet she gets is heat. Yeah, that's that thing sweet. is sick, especially in the dark scenes with that just lime green. Yeah. It's very cool. Um, I have a few more things on this Go episode. All right, that's all I have for the rest. So of first, time. not first, but for the remainder, um, I love when the bad batch is flying there and they're like, what does Rex want us here for? And it goes like, I don't know, but it seemed urgent, you know, mm -hmm. and Hunter's like kind of at, on edge. She's like, what's going on? You know? And when they land, they're like beefing the regs are mm -hmm. beefing and the bad batch gets off and, uh, Bru Wrecker, 
holy cow. <laughs> Wrecker says something to the effect of like nothing's changed or like it's always been this way because there's always been beef between uh, regs, the regs and Clone Force 99, which I think is awesome yeah. because now it's like a totally different dynamic, mm -hmm. but there's still, still that divide between yeah. them, um, which is also funny because earlier when Rex is talking to the shadow that they captured, he's like, you're still a clone. You're still one of us. Like, you haven't done anything, you know, that we can't forgive pretty much is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But then they meet these defective clones and they like have major beef with them. It's like you would forgive this shadow guy and then not, you know, mm -hmm. and obviously they, they do trust uh, Clone Force 99, but it's just interesting dynamic yeah. there. Um, uh, t -t 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 Force text, text messed you up right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Force, stop freaking texting. Seriously, thank you. Uh <laughs> He's not, he's not coming on the pod next week. I just yeah, decided. F that guy. <laughs> just kidding. Um, Crosshair goes up to Hauser and he's like, whether you believe me or not, it's the truth when they're beefing about something. Right. And I feel like we've heard Crosshair say that before. I think so. I can't remember. I'm going to have to rewatch the whole series because yeah. it's it's a good series and I could rewatch it, binge it, whatever. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was cool. I also, last note here, didn't know transports could go into hyperspace. Like the, the two transports that bring Wolf and everybody to investigate the burned um, they come monastery. Out of hyperspace? Yeah, they come out of hyperspace. Oh, I didn't know. Which I, I don't know if we've ever seen. I certainly don't a remember transport. seeing it. I don't think I've ever remember seeing a transport. Because usually they're coming to or from, you know, Venators or Star Destroyers. But... Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. They don't have to really travel that far. Yeah. So it's usually they're just right outside the planet. Right. That's a good point. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. There's some nerd going, now, in episode 16 of The Clone Wars. Sounds like uh, with Godfrey, whatever his name is. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, real quick, I just thought of this side note. When we bring Forrest on next week, let's give him a, a long introduction of like musical theater. Okay, I'm there. <laughs> Zach, I'll study up on him. Zach Heffer, yeah, give him give, <laughs> like a good in-depth of what he's done. So he goes, oh, geez, oh, drama. <laughs> he's going to say that. We're quoting it now. Anyway, extraction. Okay, next episode, extraction. Infiltration to extraction. It's great. Um, I love when in the very beginning when he's, they move the uh, debris away. That's my says, first note. Mm -hmm, there's always another way. Yep. Why did, why, was that, is that I feel like he said that before too. I know. I feel like it's referencing right? something. Because the first thing I thought of was like, there's always a bigger fish. Yeah. But I was like, no, there's, I think there's something more specific. I think he's this. definitely said that before. Yeah, he's had to. But it's also just cool like Rex's planning right exactly he shows you how good of a character he yeah is, knowing what he's gonna if something comes up do you think rex is collectively the star wars fandom's favorite clone yeah i would say so i would say so too right? because especially because he's he survives 66 without K yeah. killing anyone yeah because cody yeah that guy yeah he mauled down some fools we've got to see more of cody huh i think so i would imagine he was he was in last episode or last uh season yeah whatever happened to him Maybe he'll be like Wolf. Yeah. Well, that's what's cool about this episode. This is jumping ahead of it, but it's fine. Wolf, Gregor, and Rex all live together when we see them in Rebels. Mm -hmm. And in this episode, we see all three of them. Yep. They're not together yet, but Gregor is already with Rex. And Wolf. And we see Wolf turning. So Yeah, you know he's turning. Which, that point when, I don't know, I guess good soldiers follow orders is what it all goes back to. But when they're leaving... How does not one person be like, hey, that's, what are we letting them go? That's this what I was worried about. Insane. I was like, there's going to be a mutiny. Yeah. You know, especially with that clone commando there yeah. where he turns to him and he's like, yeah. what do you mean? I was like, this guy's going to take charge right now. But, exactly. I'd say uh, no F and wait. We just, we, our orders were to yeah. get them. You're not following orders. Yeah. We're going to kill you. So it's a little interesting that they just, fry. okay. <laughs> Two things about that. So also when the Bad Batch is getting back on their ship. They just have their backs turned. I know. They like fully trust it. I'm like, brother, one of those guys is going to shoot you. You know, that's what I was waiting for. I noticed the same thing because, yeah, I was like, they turned your back. No yeah. shot. I'm back and yeah, I'm slowly for real. like, I don't trust these guys. Um, second thing, throughout this whole episode, and I'm sure we'll get into this, uh, Wolf has like all these buttons with, uh, with the shadow. Mm -hmm. And he's like, why aren't you doing as I say? And the shadow keeps disobeying him. Mm -hmm. Why not like... I don't know. Just get rid of the guy. Like you're the commanding officer. Just say stay on the effing ship or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like don't just like keep letting him yeah, disobey. I and I, I just thought that was kind of weird. 
It kind of like shows how weak of a commander that guy is. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but Wolf fought, fought under Plo Koon, bro. He's got to be like super strong. I know. Strong. That is weird that he would just let him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I One thing I do love, I love the Shadow's voices. Like the distortion. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Very cool. I mean, it's um, our boy, but it's still yeah. cool. What's his name? It's just D. Bradley him. Baker. Yes, the one. I honestly forget sometimes. Uh, who was it that like came into the shot? It was just another clone. It was a uh, I can't remember his name, but he just comes in from the corner and it his voice came in off screen and I was like, oh, who is this? Is this like a cameo? <laughs> and I was like, it's all the same effing yeah. voice actor. Why do I get like fooled? <laughs> because it's just like barely a different voice. Yeah. Well. I was thinking about that too. I was like, how do they record this? Because like Crosshair's voice is just so like, uh, yeah. And then it cuts to just record. He's he's done an interview about it. You does he just do it. all one voice? I don't know the order that he does them in, but like he, this is common with a lot of voice actors mm-hmm. too. Like voice actors that read books, they'll have a like list of their characters, mm-hmm. and they'll have like an audio recording of like what they did for that character. Oh, okay. So that at a glance they can see like what voice they need to draw. On. Okay. So. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm sure since he's been doing it for three seasons, he can just switch in and yeah. out. Well, I saw it because when they when Star Wars posted him playing with uh, the action figures, uh-huh. a bunch of comments. I, I had no idea. I'm like, you didn't? What? <laughs> you didn't know he's a, I know he voiced all of them. I was like, well, yeah. How would someone? Because they're cl- they're all they're very like close. The same voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, um, I did like how you know when. They're coming down, and Crosshair says, "Go, I'll take care of him." Mm-hmm. He misses his shot, and it goes right to his hand. Yeah. It's just like such good foreshadowing to that. It, it is. I just, um, I hate that his hand is like it's it's a great nerf uh-huh. because when right before that shot happens, and the shadow is like hanging there uh-huh. and shooting at Crosshair, Crosshair would have nailed that guy in one shot, you yeah. know. So like, it's a great nerf for the story mm-hmm. that his hand is effed up. Absolutely. I'm just like I want to see him back at full power, like yeah. right now. And I wonder what I wonder. The reasoning has to be huge, I think, because they they they've teased it for so long. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't see them just. I feel like it's going to be like, oh, when they were doing this to you, this is why your hand's doing this. Yeah, it's slowly killing you or something. I don't know. Exactly. I feel like it's going to be a big reveal. Or like maybe when Omega is like captured at the end of the season, he can like shoot the guy that's like using her as a shield or something you know i don't know <laughs> what? like like maybe his he'll he'll like regain power over that skill whatever his hand will just stop shaking and it'll be like i've got to hit this oh, shot. oh okay i understand I, I was i was not on the same page okay as you i was like am i <laughs> no i thought you were i don't know what i thought you were talking about i get what you're saying omega's human shield he locks in, like, uh, yeah, overpowers saying, his hand, and yes. shoots the guy. Okay. Yeah, like maybe I there will come a point saying, in the season where he has to get better. I thought, this is what I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying his hand is shaky, so he was going to aim at Omega so that his hand would shake and hit the guy. Oh. And I was like, that's an interesting thing, but sure. That'd be, yeah, that'd be great. That's <laughs> like when I golf, and today we were trying to hit a target, mm-hmm. and I had already been slicing. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, everybody was turning to hit the target. I didn't turn, mm-hmm. and I just sliced it right to the target. It was great. There you go. So, hey. Play the slice. Yeah. It'll help you in the beginning, and then it'll hurt you when you start hitting it straight because then you're just hitting into the trees again. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah. So one thing I wrote on this was – it was it was one of the – I wrote it down and I kept it because I was like, oh, that was silly. I typed, I typed in, why isn't Vader on this? Like this is such a huge thing. Like a clone with the M count is free. And then yeah. I was like, oh, wait. He doesn't know because yeah. Hemlock hasn't said anything to the Emperor because if he did, it would be an S show. Mm-hmm. I wonder even if um, Vader knows about Project Necromancer. Yeah, he probably doesn't. Probably doesn't. Yeah, because Emperor, he keeping it tight. Yeah. Because why would he, what value would it have for the Emperor to let Vader know yeah. that like there's a replacement, mm-hmm. a possible replacement, or at the very least that he's going to live forever and Vader will never have a chance to be the, yeah. you know. Now that's a good point. I guess, yeah. I, so maybe we won't ever see Vader. We might not. Because you got a good point that, I wouldn't want him to know. If I had a plan of a replacement, if that's what it's going to be, I'm not telling the guy who could kill me. Yeah. And if he finds out that I can live forever and he can't, and that was the whole part of the deal that I told him when I was watching this, the opera, yeah. that was in Revenge of the <laughs> yeah, he's going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. I don't think he, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Hmm. Good job, Austin. I don't know. Oh, uh, 
Um, one other thing I have here is I thought it was really interesting that they have to keep Omega alive. That's what their orders are. Mm-hmm. So they're using stun the whole time. Yeah. Because I think for the first time in this show, we saw the Bad Batch using lethals mm-hmm. while the opposition was using stuns. Mm-hmm. Remember when they first kind of turned to their life of like being going rogue, they were mm-hmm. always using stun yeah. on the clones. And then yes. there was that moment where they switched to using lethals. And so everybody was using lethals, and now the bad guys are using stunts. It's kind of really interesting. Cool. That yeah. is a really cool full circle kind yeah, of Yeah, a little role reversal thing. <laughs> yeah. I do like that a lot. Sure. Um, one thing I do like is that I thought it was very cute that Crosshair now cares about Omega. Yeah. And he's, like, sitting there talking to her, like, are you going to be able to carry that? And then she's like, you're sounding like Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, that's cute. And he's like, trust me, I'm worse, you yeah. know? And really, that's what saved Crosshair's life. Mm-hmm. Because later in the episode, I hope I'm not jumping over too much, but no, you're good. Hauser saves him when he's about to die at the edge of the waterfall, being yep. drowned by the, the shadow. Awesome. Um, and Hauser, in that moment with Omega, realized, oh, this is legit. Crosshair yes. has switched, you know? Yeah, it's not him putting on a show. Like, he, he that guy would have never cared at all. Right. So, really awesome. Yeah, very good. Um, I like this tiny little... I thought, I thought the monologue he was going to give was going to be longer. There's mm-hmm. a point, you know what I'm talking about. He's walking out of the cave and Hauser's behind him. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be like a long monologue, but it was like maybe 20 seconds of him telling them why yeah. he switched. He says, loyalty meant something to me with the Empire. It didn't go both ways. Yes. Yeah. So. I was hoping we were going to get like a Luthan type yeah. long monologue from going off. That'd be cool. But we, got a, we got a little show of it. Um, oh, sorry. I, I'll, I'll let you say the next ones that you have, but I really want to say this one. So I'm going to say it. Okay. Uh, there's a point in the uh, – I have it marked for tw- 12 minutes and 20 seconds because I'm probably going to clip it and put it on the podcast. Okay. I mean on the TikTok. So I'm going to restart what I said. <clears throat> so uh, one thing I really liked is it says – there's a part where he goes, I hear it too. And it reminded me of a parallel of Clone Wars where he's – where Obi-Wan goes, I sense it too. And they okay. run in to say Padme. Because the way he says, I hear it too, I don't know. It was like the parallel to me was – In know. your face. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that. I'll, I'll, I'll find it and play it to you. Okay. Can't wait. That was interesting. But I know the one in uh, Clone Wars. In Attack of the oh, Clones sorry, you're talking Clone, about. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, did I say Clone Wars in the beginning? I you did. did. That's a thing. <laughs> well, listen, I'm not using that for the podcast. <laughs> I'm in TikTok. For the t- <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Idiot. Stupid. Jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, we have fun. <laughs> well, we sure do. Um, I have two more. Yeah, go for it. Okay. First one why did Hauser use stun on the assassin or on the shadow? That's a good point. He walks up behind him. He's literally drowning Crosshair. He goes to save Crosshair's life, uses stun on the guy. Yeah. So then the guy falls down the waterfall, and then we see him get up later. Does Kill the guy. Did he pick up a gun? Did, did he lose his gun at all? Because the only thing I can think of is maybe he picked up Shadow's gun and did it. But Shadow, Shadow had been using lethals the oh, whole time. That's, that's Oh, yeah. That's because he shot the ship. That's a good point. I didn't Hauser even... double agent? <gasps> hmm. But, Probably not. <laughs> But that's a, I didn't catch that at all. I just thought it was silly. I was like, Yeah, why wouldn't you? You've been him? using, we've seen everybody using yeah. lethals. And it's just weird. That is interesting. Um, huh. I'll have to look into that. Okay. I'll thank you. you. Yeah. Research that for me. Uh, also, I, before that, I didn't really, I had something that I forgot. Uh, the shot that um, Crosshair does uh, to the AT, AT at, at, depending on your time of your millennial or not, when he shoots the guy, you know what I'm talking about? No. When he shoots the at at, the guy in the at. I don't remember seeing that. At-at. You know, it might not have been an at. at Oh, just the the transport. Was it a transport? I thought it was an at. I, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Full disclosure: I was working and watching this, so I glanced over and saw someone wow. on the ship. Wow. Yep. And now I'm a little embarrassed. That I said at at. You can and cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but I'm not gonna cut it because here's the thing: I'm not the professional in this. You are so okay. It was not that. that. It was a transport. it was a troop transport. I I don't remember Shoot. the designation for what they are, but it was very cool. Um, real quick, I'm an idiot. Earlier, I was trying to help Spencer move his safe at his house. <laughs> it his went dad really came good. over. His dad came over, and Spencer and his dad are the same exact person. But you said something, and you were like walking out of the room, and both me and your dad went wow at the same time. <laughs> I just thought it was great. Felt, felt close to Bill right there, you yeah, know. I, I I probably called him a B with something. <laughs> what did you? Say? 
Oh, no, it's because he was like, where'd my blue box go? And you, you were like, oh, I thought that was mine. I put it in my bag. We went, wow. <laughs> and then he's like, you saw a box you've never seen before, and you put it in your bag. And I was like, yeah, when you say it like that, it was stupid. Yeah, it was great. It was Shut great. up, dad. Um, but yeah. So it wasn't an app. It wasn't an app, but that was cool <laughs> when um, Crosshair shot him through the through the canopy and everything. That's what I wanted to say. That's all I should have said. I should have said when Crosshair shot the guy. Oh, it was cool. <laughs> Why am I embarrassed about that? All right, anyway. Uh, what do you have next? I, I, did, I do have one thing that I'm excited on there. Okay, I just have one last thing. Yeah, so here. great interaction between Rex and Wolf. I just love that whole thing where yes. he's like, think about what you're doing. You're hunting a child, you know? Yeah. Dude. And Wolf is just like sitting there, uh, just so cool. I mean, when he's when he really put that into perspective, I was like, "That is insane! Yeah. You're hunting a child." Yeah, I was like, "That was really smart of Rex too." Yeah, and I mean, you know, that's probably the part that pushed Wolf over. I love that. That was super good. Very um, good. Uh, I was just gonna say, I finally heard uh, Wilhelm scream. Wilhelm, I say it. Wilhelm, yeah, Beat Wilhelm, him. Wilhelm. Because I've said that like three times, like, oh, it'll be perfect right here, right here. And then they, they gave me one. They, gave me they one had one, one this episode? Uh-huh. They did I didn't hear it. Dang. Uh, it was around a minute 15. I'll have to go back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sweet. Um, loved the knife that the shadow had. Yeah, the, uh, I can't remember what they're it called. Vibra blade, mm-hmm. vibra knife, something so, vibration. Those knives Vibe. are sick. Yeah. Where have we seen them before? Because I know we've seen them. Um, well, uh, Wrecker. Always uses one. Mm, yes. When we were first introduced to his character in season seven of the Clone Wars, I remember him using one. Um, bounty hunters use them a lot. I think the Mandalorian uses one from I think time yeah, to the time. Mandalorian, but yeah. Or um, you know what? It's uh. Is it the Boba Fett or? We've seen it in the Mandalorian. I think it was uh, uh, Tar Vizsla, the Vizsla guy, oh, John yes. Favreau's character. When they're fighting, he uses a viper blade. If I can remember correctly, I might be wrong. But. I think that is right because it is because they have a standoff, right? I mean, you know what? That's the book of Boba Fett, though, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Did it's all Gosh, all what a up. shit throwaway episode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the book of Boba Fett. When anyway, the man, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mandalorians use it. Clones use it. Yeah, the viper knife, viper blade, whatever the hell it is. Vibuedo. Vibuedo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just last thing here with Wolf, uh, you chose the wrong side. Wait, what? Let me back up. That's not the part I want to talk about. I thought it was crazy that Shadow was just drowning Crosshair. Yeah. So dark. Also, Crosshair can't hold his breath for more than four seconds. (laughs) I know. He gave up like immediately. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) I think about that when people are getting choked out in movies. There's two things. Um, So have you heard that thing that people say, uh, you think you could land a plane? Girls ask guys that. Yeah. that trend? Yeah. Um, I don't think I could land a plane. However, <laughs> yeah, this is my equivalent. I think if I got stabbed in a fight, people are like, oh, oh, and they get like down to the ground. For some reason, I don't know why, in my mind, I think I'm, I can keep going. That's not stopping me. I, this is getting away from Star Wars. I could definitely sooner land a plane than get up from a knife fight. One step. I'm just saying a quick okay, step. Okay, one step. That's what I'm saying. Dude. Because yeah, like in movies, like, oh, oh, I'm like, dude, I think a stab, I'm like, let's go. I have adrenaline. I don't know. I I'm shouldn't crazy. even. I shouldn't even talk about this. You stabbed the guy. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> you stabbed the guy. No. no. Okay, I do want to talk about this. <laughs> I was on more. TikTok yesterday. This is why I need to get off TikTok. Thank goodness they're banning it. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Not good for us. <laughs> um, I see some body cam footage, right? And oh, it's geez. and it's blurred. It's blurred. Uh-huh. But all the comments, of course. You know when one person comments something and it's like, yeah, this is bad. But have you seen yada yada? Yeah. And then like ten comments are like. Y'all need to look up yada yada, yeah. the same one it's that the first one. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. these people didn't know about this. Yeah. You know, they're freaking. Anyway. Have you seen? Them? I love when people do the bit where, like, yeah, I'm hearing about uh, they say the thing and they go, but you should go check out and they say like a, a bit like pizzahut.com. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those are funny. Go ahead. Anyway, I fall into the trap. So I open check. up a Reddit mm. and I look up the video that they were talking about. Mm. The most horrific thing, Mm. not the most horrific thing I've ever seen, because I've seen worse stuff accidentally on Reddit. So back to Star Wars. What the hell, dude? What was that? Let's just cut that. No, it's the worst thing ever. You can cut that. But that made me think... (laughs) 
<laughs> when you're talking about getting stabbed, I'm like, brother, you don't There's know no what way. it's like. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I love that. I, part of me wants to keep that in because I just went so dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's horrible. But like two years ago, I don't know if you remember this, but there was like a small um, private plane that was landed by a total oh. stranger. Like one of the – because they got on with air traffic control and air traffic control tucked okay. them through it. I could certainly – maybe. Not certainly. <laughs> I could maybe do that. If it's a small plane, air traffic control is tucking me through it. Okay. I think so. Well, it's, okay. That's the thing. Force and I talked about this a while ago. Small plane, for some reason, more confident. Even though they're more dangerous, I feel like I could land a small plane better than a land, big plane. But you would think it would be – Easier to do big plane. Yeah. I think they're more dangerous because the like in dust. mid-flight, like yeah. I think landing has got to be easier. Yeah, it's got to be. And I think Forrest, but I'm a good point. He's like, I play video games, so I think I could do it. it maybe got to jiggle. jiggle. <laughs> jiggle. <laughs> got to laugh because I was like, well, I don't think that's why you'd be good at it. <laughs> I can nail it. <laughs> I, 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 my KD's like two in Warzone. Yeah. I get it. Um, it's not two. He's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like point. Actually, I think he might be a one. He, we're, we're all over one except for... I think I'm a little bit. I'm probably under. By yeah, a maybe. Bit. Maybe I gotta check again because I've. We've got to check. I played again. better. I'm probably below one now. Anyway, back to Star Wars. Sorry about that dark. <laughs> Dude, I just seriously. Uh, maybe I, won't, I couldn't get stabbed. I won't say the name of the body cam footage. If, I don't want to watch if, it. If listeners, if you see a TikTok video and it says this video is worse, do not look up the worst video unless you're a sociopath. I can't handle it, and that's there. You know, there's that joke that like. I had access to the dark web. Like you can't scare me with whatever. I've seen mm. that on TikTok. I had access to it. I never looked into that stuff. So that stuff still freaks me out. You know, yeah. I'm well, glad. I'm grateful. You're a human being. Yeah. It's not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, that stuff I've never liked at all. Freaks me out. That's why we got into Star Wars. It's a lot yeah, more it's, tame. Yeah. Because if you get cut in Star Wars, it's. Yeah. It's cauterized. Cauterized immediately. You don't have to Except leave. for the one guy in the bar, whatever. <laughs> oh, in yeah. the cantina. Which I love that i I really thought in from a certain point of view they were going to talk about it they just didn't they just didn't interesting they talk about it happening but they don't say why it was bloody which we know why because it wasn't flushed out anyway what's up guys uh, i think that's all i have that's uh, all i've got to uh, we can probably just cut that last 10 minutes I, I, I part of me wants to keep it because that was so crazy we can keep it but maybe just, i'll maybe i'll cut it and just cut me saying what the hell was that dude let it you know you can keep it let it be a lesson to our viewers though seriously just Ugh. don't don't look up people maybe dying. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe put a small advisory saying the next part is a graphic story if yeah. you if you're squeamish scroll on yeah it, I'll, I'll show you the video no sure. i don't i'm want going to, to. I, okay let's I, finish up and then i'll show you, you no i'll show you me to let's finish it. up and then i'll show you all right we're done, we're done. <laughs> um next week the best clearfield uh let's see what, what um, Troy Bolton. Troy Bolton of Clearfield High. Um, um, he musical theater. What do you play in musical theater? Lettered in theater. Lettered in theater. The Foreigner. The Foreigner. Um, <laughs> Lucy Lou's darling. Steel um, Magnolias. Maybe he was uh, maybe a side character. Thoroughly modern Miss Millie. Um, um, Les Mis. Les Mis. Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. Uh, Washington. Er, in the Heights. Yes, he was in. He was in Green Day's Broadway. Uh, it was really good. Dude, did I tell you we saw the Book of Mormon in, in New you? York? Was it good? It was hilarious. Really? Really sacrilegious. Hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have Forrest on. Best golfer at Clearfield High, right? That is a false statement. I will not back that up. Were you better than him in high school? I was not. <laughs> he was oh, okay. <laughs> but he was not the best golfer on the team. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He is better than me then, and he's technically better than me now. But that's also because he has free time. What's your handicap? <laughs> Unemployed. <laughs> uh, mine's like a 14, 13, 14. His is like a 10 or a 12. Wow. So Let me know when you get to an 8. I don't think I will ever get there. No, I'll get there. I just won't tell you. Folks, I'm there. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you for, for being, being a disciple, disciple of the Force.